Spencer, let me turn these Stanley brothers down. Boy, Ralph and Carter been wearing it out. I like Stanley Brothers. They don't make bluegrass like that anymore. The stuff they play now, I don't know. Anyways, we're road tripping today. I'm headed down to Lott in Oklahoma. I'm going to attend a Bible conference there Friday and Saturday. And I'm going to preach Sunday uh, in Lawton at a, at a friend of mine's church there, a mission that we support. And um, I decided I think I need to take a little road trip, a little detour from my normal route to Lawton. I'm going to dogleg about oh, 45 minutes out of my way to eat what some people call the greatest barbecue in Oklahoma. I'm going to Davis, Oklahoma, and I'm going to eat at Smoking Joe's Rib Ranch. Yeah, Smoking Joe's Rib Ranch. Anyways, I've been told it's the greatest barbecue I've ever had. Uh, there is no better barbecue, but folks, I, I didn't get this figure by eating a lot of bad barbecue, okay? I know what good barbecue is, and there's a lot of people that make good barbecue. So we're gonna we're gonna head down there and check it out, and uh, I'm gonna bring you along with me. Uh, I should get there a little after the lunch crowd. I don't know how busy this place will be, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to kind of show you guys what the inside looks like, give you a good uh, a good view of my plate, and then give you some honest thoughts about how it tastes. So we're gonna give it a shot. Come with me, we're road tripping. We're going to Smoking Joe's Rib Ranch, Davis, Oklahoma. I'll see you in the parking lot. I don't mean that like it sounds. We're not gonna go out in the parking lot and fight. I'll just turn you back on when we get there. Smoking Joe's? Well, this place is hopping. Hey man, we made it. We're in the parking lot of Smoking Joe's Rib Ranch. It looks like there's a campground here, and I don't know what all. Anyways, I'm going to go inside, get in line. It's like uh, about 1.15. So I got here a little quicker than I thought. I didn't think I'd get here to closer to 2. But anyways, I'm going to go inside and get some food, see if, I can't, uh, see if I can't give you a couple pictures of it and give you my thoughts on what some people claim to be the best barbecue in Oklahoma. So we'll see. Well, it's a little loud in here. I don't know how well you can hear me but this is the three meat combo. I have brisket, ribs, pulled pork down underneath. I don't know if you can see that. There's the potato salad and the beans. I'm gonna go get a fork and a knife and I'll be back and we'll give it a taste. <laughs> Well, I came hungry, I ate a late lunch, and I have brisket and full pork and a whole rib left. I'm gonna take that and drop it off with a preacher I know in lot. Well, I'm out here in the parking lot at Smokin' Joe's Rib Ranch, and man, it's good barbecue, it's real good. Uh, 
I would say it's great barbecue. But I would stop shy of calling it the greatest barbecue or the best barbecue in, uh, in Oklahoma. Here's why. The ribs were a little underdone. They were fully cooked, but if they'd cooked maybe another 30 minutes on the smoker, uh, it would have pulled apart a lot better. The brisket was good, very good. Um, it wasn't cut exactly right. It was like, like it was cut on a, uh, like on a meat cutter. And uh, it was very good, but it was thin on one side, thick on the other. The next piece may be cut in half. It was just kind of like somebody set it on a, on a lunch meat cutter and just worked it back and forth. And, but it was, it had a great flavor. It tasted great. Uh, get over here and prop up on my truck. The sauce, the mild sauce was exactly like I like a mild sauce. Uh, you can taste the vinegar. It's a sweet sauce. You can taste the, uh, you, you can taste the acidity of the vinegar. And I, I really, really liked the mild sauce. The hot sauce was a black pepper hot. And I, I, I just can't get hot enough of black pepper. I got to use cayenne. And I kept tasting Worcestershire sauce in it. And the more I ate the hot, the more I just tasted Worcestershire. And I like Worcestershire as much as the next guy, but uh, not in my barbecue sauce, not where I can taste it. And kind of has that A1 steak sauce tang to it. And I just didn't like that. But man, if I was in Davis, Oklahoma, I was near Davis, Oklahoma. I would pull into Smokin' Joe's Rib Ranch and uh, eat it. I got all that food for $22, tax and all. It was $22. 2231 or something that was three meats and two sides. Let's talk about the sides The beans were good, but they were just plain old pinto beans. I was kind of expecting barbecued beans and uh, I, I, They were just beans and they were good, but I'm not I don't want pintos. I want barbecue beans when I'm eating barbecue and The potato salad was good. It had a little too much going on for me. There was a lot of stuff in it uh, I couldn't really tell what all was in it. I was trying to, I just kept getting different flavors, different textures, uh, but it was good. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm not, not opposed to eating it again. Um, Smoking Joe's Rib Ranch, thumbs up. It's good. If you're here, eat it. I, I'll, I'll say this much. It is the best barbecue in Davis. Uh, maybe the best barbecue in this area, but the pulled pork was good. Everything was good. Everything was great. But it's just not top level best there is. I mean, everything's well done. The place is busy. Uh, there's, there's picnic tables over there because there's not enough room for everyone to eat in there. And uh, you can tell they handle a lot of people. So it's good barbecue, but it's not the best in Oklahoma. Anyways, I got to get on the road. I've got a conference to get to. I've got a preacher to meet with. I got leftovers in the truck. Thank you guys for watching. I got another road trip planned on this trip. I've actually got two more planned on this trip. It's starting to rain. I'm gonna get in the car. Thank you for watching. If you're in Southern Oklahoma near Davis, give it a shot. You won't be disappointed. Hey there, let me turn this down. I don't want the Skinnards coming back from the grave and copywriting me on this. <laughs>